Finding a comfortable seat, bringing your feet flat to the floor and scoot a little bit closer to the edge. Sitting away from the back of the chair so you feel um, some lift and length using your abdominal muscles. And as we breathe in and out, tuning into your breath. Closing your eyes, breathe in and out five times. So as we breathe in and out five times, slowly turn your attention inward. Feel your breath. Fill up all the way, empty all the way. So find either end of the breath. And then everyone take a full breath in together. Pause at the top of the breath, relax your shoulders away from your ears, see if you can soften that, get a little taller. And slowly exhale. Two more, inhale. Get a little rounder, fuller and softer. Lengthening the spine, releasing any tension in the face and the jaw, release your tongue, soften your eyelids. And slowly exhale. Again, inhale. Lifting up. A little more pressure down into the ground, rooting down, rising up. Exhale slowly, completely empty. Pause at the bottom of the breath to draw the navel in toward the spine. Feel the emptiness. There we go. And then slowly fill up. And once you reach the top, drop the chin slightly as if there was an apple between your chest and your chin. So a slight drop of the head, draw the shoulders down. We're holding, retaining the breath. And then release that seal, Jalandhara, Banda, as you exhale. Inhale. Pause at the top. Draw the navel in toward the back body. Uddiyana Banda. Pausing at the top of the breath. Everything is stable and still, rooting down. And then relax your belly, exhale your air completely. Release, relax. All right, now we're gonna send that apana energy downward. Inhale, full breath in again. And then draw the pelvic floor upward. Keep lifting, notice your feet, notice your face, notice your jaw, relax your toes, your hands, your fingers, your shoulders, pausing at the top of the breath, keep lifting.
and then slowly exhale. Take three slow breaths in. Three slow breaths out. All right, Mula Bandha, Uriana Bandha, Jalandhara Bandha, all at the same time. So inhale first, pausing at the top, retain your breath, and then draw the pelvic floor up, draw the navel to the spine, and then take that apple underneath your chin, drop it slightly. Pause here, keep holding. And then release, let go. Let's do that two more times. First breath, breath in, inhale. Lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the navel to the spine, drop the chin. Keep holding, relax, release any tension anywhere else. Sealing those three locks all at once. And can you release them all at once as you exhale completely? Just notice the energy drop down toward the earth. All right, inhale. Last one. First the lower, then the middle, then the chin lock. You're sealing that energy. Pausing here. And exhale, let go. All right, good. All right. Just move about a little bit, adjust your seat. Find some alignment in your feet and your legs. Relax your shoulders, sitting tall, equal sitting on those sit bones. So if you're leaning to one side or forward or back, find center, draw the navel in slightly, knit the ribs slightly, draw the shoulders away from the ears and take a full breath in and exhale through the mouth. Ha. Ah. Again, inhale. And exhale. All right, moving just the shoulders. Let's just draw them around in a circle a couple of times. Waking up the body. Starting our movement practice. We're going to do a little flow. One more rotation. And then release the arms downward and turn the hands forward. Lift the arms overhead, breathe in, look up, open your eyes, and then turn the hands away all the way down. Circle them to the heart. Again, inhale, lifting. Strong, straight arms overhead. Breathe it up, exhale it down all the way, just moving slowly, hands to the heart. Overhead you go, inhale, looking up, dropping the right arm down, reaching the left arm up, lean over to the right. Exhale, inhale, both arms overhead, left arm down, right arm up, lean to the left. Inhale, both arms up. Bring your arms into cactus. Slowly bend the elbows. Inhale, touch the thumbs, look up. Spread the fingers. And then make a fist as if you're pulling yourself up. Lift the chin, little chin up. And extend the arms overhead, touch the thumbs. Breathe in, exhale, make a fist. Grab a hold, flex those biceps. Again, inhale, lift, 
touch the thumbs and down to cactus pose. Hold on to that bar. Bring the elbows a little further back, bring the chest forward, and then open the hands, touch the elbows and the hands and palms together to the front. Bow the head forward, stretching across the upper back. Inhale, stretching across the front of the chest as you open wide. And forward you go, exhale, touching if you can. See if you can get those elbows a little bit higher and open straight to the back, lifting up one more. Feel that opening, go slow here. We're just waking up the body, warming up the muscles. Open wide. All right, bring the arms back to cactus, lift the arms overhead. Bring the thumbs together, hook them, spread the fingers, just a little action in the thumb joint. Other thumb in front, hook the finger, hook the thumbs, and pull gently apart. Release the hands back into cactus. Make a fist, and then drop the fist down, rolling the fist forward. And then bring the fist back, rolling the fist backward. Again, fist forward, keeping the elbows at a right angle and then rolling the fist backward. And then spread the fingers wide into starfish, lift the arms, inhale, bring the thumbs to touch, back to cactus and pull down, make a fist. One more, inhale, lift. Should have warm arms now and down you go. All right, extend the arms to the side, palms face forward. And then bring your left hand to your right shoulder and then swing the other arm under your left arm like that. And then see if you can bring your hand all the way to the top of the shoulder and depress it down. And then bring the other hand to the shoulder, stacking your elbows, drop the elbows to the chest. Inhale, the elbows off the chest. Just an upper back cat cow, rounding just the upper back, keeping the lower spine neutral. Let's add the head in here. Inhale, lifting upward. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, just the upper back. Feel that stretch across it, releasing the neck. Inhale to neutral, lift the elbows off your chest. Unfold the arms upwards, release, unfold. And then coming to a twist to the right without touching. So spin, palms should be upward. Right arm back, left arm forward, come back to center. Left arm back, right arm forward, turning. Use your feet, ground down. Draw the navel in, inhale the arms overhead. Join the hands to the heart. Right arm to left shoulder. Bring the other arm underneath, then grab a hold of that shoulder, changing sides. Inhale the elbows up. This is a shoulder joint stretch, dropping the head down, keeping the lower body still. Inhale, lift. Should feel pretty good in that upper shoulder, the top shoulder and down the top arm. And lift elbows off the chest, fly the arms up, reach up and then reach one arm at a time. Just a little flow to wake us up. So grab a hold of that rope or the ladder rung, pulling yourself longer and stronger. Do a little lean sway to the side. And then bring the arms to parallel, palms face. Reach both arms equally, look up, and then swing the arms to the side all the way down. And release your hands with the palms up onto your legs. Close your eyes, take a full breath in. Exhale through your mouth with a sigh. Ha. Ah. Open your eyes, inhale your hands, and then spin the palms down. Push the hands away from your chest and swim forward. 
Do that again, palms up, breathe in, push the hands away from the chest, straight ahead, swim forward. Inhale, palms up, turn the hands, push, open, nice and wide. One more, inhale, push away, swim, and then bring those hands all the way to the back of the seat, grab a hold, lean forward, draw the shoulder blades together, lengthen the spine, and see if you can straighten those arms as you draw the shoulder blades toward each other. And then can you bring the rib cage in? There we go. And bring the chin down slightly so you feel some length in the back of the neck. And then let go of the chair, keep your torso where it is, and then draw the arms forward in line with your ears. Hold here, five, strengthening, four, breathing, three, two, one, press down, lift up, look up, and draw the arms all the way around, circling to the heart, yeah. All right, prayer twist to the right. So join the hands together, center of the chest, spinning the torso to the right. Exhale, come back to the front, turning the other way, spinning. And back to the front. All right, spin to the right, dip the left elbow to the leg and back up and spin to the left and dip. And let's do this a few times, a little quicker turn and dip. Feel that action in the rib cage, in the waist, right at the top of the hip, spin and dip. Two more, use your feet, press the floor and dip. And last one, spinning to the left, dipping the right elbow. And we're gonna land the elbow here, coming into a prayer twist to the left. Now anchor that left hip down, Lengthen the spine away from your hips. So you're kind of jutting outward at a diagonal. Use your feet. Inhale, come back up. So good for the side body. And then turn to the right. Dip that left elbow. Hold here. Breathe. Inhale, come back up. Turn to the left again. Take the right elbow over toward the left side, maybe to the center of your legs. It's not gonna go all the way there because it's too far, unless we moved our legs. But see if you can just hover that elbow between your thighs there, maybe go a little deeper, anchoring that left hip as best you can, and inhale, come back to the front. That was a lot, I know. Turning to the right, just warming up our hips, and then dipping this elbow closer to your right leg, maybe in the center, turning, going a little deeper, breathe. Inhale, come back up. Well done. Extend the arms forward, open the hands, and then roll back into a cat. Really reach those arms forward, drop the head down. Open the arms wide into a back bend. And then forward, two more. Just rocking back, opening up the lower back area, feeling the top edge of the sacrum coming forward as the arms go backward. Arms go forward, belly draws inward, head goes downward, a lot of words, and forward and open wide. All right, arms to the side, heel toe your feet nice and wide. Inhale the arms overhead, cross the arms over your head, and then cross the arms between your legs. Inhale, overhead, changing the arm in front, and downward, changing the arm in front. Two more, inhale, crossing, and downward. Not going too far, flat back, use your belly muscles, use your core, breathe it up, Exhale it down, one more. Inhale, arms go overhead, give it a cross. And then release the arms all the way down. 
Just land your hands right on top of your legs, relax your shoulders, and then ground down your heels into the ground. So lifting up, feel some length right here in this area. You feel some, um, so the, any wrinkles in your shirt come out as you press down and lift up. And then rolling back into a cat, wrinkling your shirt, dropping your head. We're gonna go down to the ground with a flat back. So you can stay here with your hands on your knees. You can slide the hands down to the center of your feet or to your block, drop your head, forward fold. Take two breaths here, full and deep. Take a full breath in, lift the head, flat back, airplane the arms, tee them to the side. Inhale, press down, using the strength of your legs, coming back up, breathe in, arms come overhead. Join the hands and then separate them all the way down back to your legs. Rolling back into a cat. We're gonna do that one more time. Forward with a flat back, engage the front of the body to the back of the body as you fold, lengthen, hands wherever is comfortable. Drop the head if you can. This is your inversion. Bringing the apana energy downward, which is a good thing. We wanna kind of change it all up and start again. Maybe do a little head movement back and forth, releasing any tension in the neck. And then lift the head flat back, arms into a T, right in line with the shoulders, draw the navel up, press down, lift up, arms overhead again, breathe in, hands touch. And then as you bring your hands to the heart, heel toe your feet back to parallel. Well done. Rest your hands, close your eyes, take a full breath. Then out through the mouth. Ah. All right, right arm down, turn the hand out, lift the arm, lean over into your crescent pose. So making a C curve with the side body, can you bring that right shoulder a little higher toward the back? bringing the left shoulder forward, the right shoulder backward, and then draw the navel in supporting all of that. Reach that top arm as long as you can. And then release that arm coming into a twist to the left. So swing that arm around, place the back of the hand on the outside of your leg, grab a hold of the back of the chair and turn to the left. Press your leg into the back of your hand slightly to get a little length in the lower back. Inhale, unwind. Other side, inhale the arm. Crescent pose to the other side, change sides. Lean, anchoring the hip. And then drawing the left shoulder back, right shoulder forward slightly, and then lengthen that overhead arm, draw the navel in, supporting your spine. Release that top arm, coming into a twist to the right now, land the back of the hand on the outside of the leg. You can bring your legs closer together, hold on to the back of the chair, anchor your hips, even them out, breathe in your twist. Inhale, unwind, right into a cat. Flat back forward, flat back. Slide the hands down the front of the shins to the top of the feet, drop your head. Then lift your head, walk your hands forward. If your hands don't reach the floor, you can just stay here with your hands on your shins or knees or the tops of the feet. But if you can walk your hands forward, I want you to lengthen the side body. Now the head wants to look where you're going, right? So now once you get your hands extended, your arms extended, 
Drop your head so your ears are in line with your upper arm. Take a full breath in, press your feet. Yep, feel that engagement. Walk your hands back. We're gonna ragdoll back up, sliding the hands up the front of the legs to the top of the thighs. Close your eyes at the top, take a full breath in and out through the mouth. <sighs> a lot of deep breathing. <laughs> Inhale the arms. Turn the hands away. Circle the arms all the way around to the heart. Just a little reverse. Can't do the same thing all the time. Inhale, all arms overhead. Spin them outward to the heart. All right, interlace your fingers. Let's try to bring the other fingers in front this time instead of the usual way. So interlace and then press the hands away inside out. Bend the elbows. Press the hands away. Lift the arms overhead. And reach it long. And release your hands to the heart. Interlace your fingers the way you usually do it. Press the palms away. Bend the elbows. Extend forward. Breathe in. Lift it up. Soften it. Reach it and then release. All right, behind the back, interlace your fingers right behind and the elbows are bent. Draw the elbows toward each other. Knit the ribs in if you're jutting your chest forward. Draw those elbows a little closer. Feel that nice opening across the chest. So I'm resting my palm, my um, interlaced fingers right on the base of my, my spine. And now we're going to extend the arms downward and lean forward. See if we can um, lift our hands off our back. Can you draw the shoulders away from your ears? Yep. All right, we're going to sit back up. You have to bend your elbows. Yep. Bend your elbows, rest your hands. One more time, lean forward, lengthen the arms. If your arms don't lift off, no big worry. Lift the arms if you can, maybe a little higher maybe overhead. I know that's extreme. Just honor yourself, right? Just do what you can. Don't push it and relax. Keeping your hands interlaced. Slide your hands over to your left hip. So now I've got my um, right forearm resting on my lower, lower back and it feels kind of good. We're gonna stretch our neck. So let's dip the head over to the right because our hands are over to the left. And then move the head wherever you want. You can dip your chin, lift it. It's intense. But before you come to, to the center again, I want you to bring the ear over the shoulder, then inhale the head to center. Slide the hands over to the other hip. Drop the head away, move the head any which way, stretching that poor neck, oh. And then bring the ear right above the shoulder, take a full breath in, bring the head to center, bring the hands back to the center of the spine. One more, extend the arms, lean forward, lift it off. All right. Release your interlace, slide the hands to your legs, feeling very tall and open in the shoulders, hopefully. Press down into the floor, lengthen the spine, take a full breath in and release, exhale. Ha. Extend your right leg, so we need to straighten that leg. So we're gonna do a little uh, thigh stretching, especially hamstring stretching and forward folding standing. Okay, so let's first do it seated. Um, hold on to the side of the chair or, or not, um, just depends. But I want you to find some alignment with that foot to your shin and knee to your hip. Leaning over the floor evenly, not sideways. Okay, so see if you can square up those shoulders and then lengthen the spine and look straight down at the ground. 
Good back of the leg stretch, right? Keep that foot flex. The more you flex, the better the stretch. Yep. One more time, holding on or not, leaning over the leg equally. And keep lifting those toes. The more you go, the more it lifts. And then come back to vertical, other side. Inhale, lift up, press down. Folding over that leg, holding onto the side or not. Notice the difference in sides, my goodness. And then coming back up, inhale. Let's hold the second one a little longer. Inhale, pressing down as if you're going up and over, drawing the spine downward and then adjust your neck, look straight down and then look at your feet, your foot, flex it even more. Inhale, come back up. If you have a rolled up blanket or a rolled up towel, I'm gonna to use my towel today. Set it in front of you. Take the, the, the balls of the feet on top of your towel or blanket and drop the heels off the side. And just hold here, relax your toes onto the blanket. So instead of lifting the toes, right? Or um, clenching the toes, can you relax them? And then press the balls of the feet into that soft blanket. All right, just press, notice what happens. You feel some engagement of the feet, definitely. You feel a little action in the back of the leg, just a tiny bit, because we're seated. We're working up to standing. So we're gonna do the standing in a second. And breathe, and breathe. All right, take your, um, the arch of your foot, just the arch on top of your blanket. Press the arch and then relax the toes to the front and relax the heel to the back. Press the arch, it should feel pretty good. It's very subtle, but it's very effective for your feet. It's um, the longer you hold this, the more you're going to feel it. So just pressing the arch of your foot. So my blanket is not very wide. It's probably about eight inches, seven or eight inches wide. And it's not very tall either. It's about three or four inches tall. And I'm pressing the arch of my feet into the top. Relax your toes, everyone. Relax your toes. All right, a lot of feeling the warm. I'm actually starting to break a sweat here. Believe it or not. <laughs> and really, all right. Now drop the toes in front of your blanket. So the toes are resting on the ground and the heels are on your blanket, right? Press your heels downward and see if you can just Hold here for a few moments, just pressing down the heels. Just notice what muscles you have to use to do that. Feels pretty good. All right. Taking that away, because we're gonna come to standing in a moment. Lift both heels off the floor and let's just pulse it up five, four, activating our, our calves, three and two and one. Keep your heels off the floor, lift them as high as you can and then ground down the big toe mount. Hold here, five, keep lifting, four, three, breathe, two, ohm, one, and release the heels to the ground and then rock backward, lift the bottoms of the foot, feet, and then press both heels evenly. Spread your toes, hold here, five, four, three. Spread your toes a little bit more, two, one, and completely relax. Close your eyes, breathe in and out. Notice the quality of your breath now.
Notice how tall your spine is. Notice the neutrality of your pelvis. And then flutter the eyes open, lean forward, come to standing. So we're gonna need a block for your a couple standing poses, a standing pose, and you're gonna need your blanket again. So I'm gonna take this blanket, it's a little bit more height, standing in front of your seat. So if you need uh, support uh, for balance, um, you may want to stand behind your chair, but we are going to do triangle pose today. So um, we're going to use the seat of the chair. So you'll be using that. So just one foot. So take the ball of the foot onto the blanket, the other foot slightly behind. So one foot, the ball of the foot is on the blanket. The heel is on the floor. The other foot is off the blanket completely. Bend that, so I've got my left leg. So this is my left side here. And I've got this foot on the blanket. And I'm gonna bend that knee. So bend that knee and straighten. Bend your left knee and straighten. Bend that left knee. Now keep it bent and then press your big toe firmly into the blanket. That really draws that knee center over the top of the foot. Notice that? And then straighten that leg, change sides. Right foot, right ball of foot. This foot is slightly back, but it's on the ground for stability. Bend and straighten that right leg, just the right leg. Can you just bend one leg? Just bend and straighten, stretching the Achilles and the calf. All right, bend that knee and then lengthen that right leg and release. Give those feet a good shake and then place both feet on the blanket, both knees bend. Now I'm gonna um, take my chair a little further away from me on the mat so it doesn't slide. Bring your hands to the seat, both knees are bent. Mm -hmm. And just hold here. The feet are parallel. The inside part of the feet are parallel to each other. Press both big toe mounds, bend both knees. Now we're gonna come to a straight leg. So straighten both legs evenly, pressing the inside seam of both feet evenly and bend and straighten and bend and straighten. We're gonna hold this next one, bend your knees, look straight down at the seat. I've got my hands on either side, breathe. All right, straighten both legs and then walk your feet away. We're gonna come into downward facing dog, keeping the feet hip width apart, and then bend your knees, lengthen the spine so you can get it parallel to the ground. Stretching. And then see if you can take some awareness to the back of the thigh and lift that bone, the femur bone, lengthen it upward. Drawing the sit bones upward. And then lift your head, look at your seat, walk your feet back. Step onto the blanket with your heels, just your heels. Bend both knees and then come into this pose with the heels lifted, knees are bent, look straight ahead. Feet are, the balls of the feet are on the ground. Hold here, looking straight ahead. This is your Utkatasana with the heels lifted. Hold here, five. This is really hard, four, three, two, one. Lengthen both legs. All right, heels are up. 
supported by the blanket. The toes are on the ground. Balls of the feet are on the ground. Hands are on the hips. Look straight ahead. Bend both knees again. Yep. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten both legs. Last time. Inhale. Bending. Relaxing. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten both legs. All right. Hands come back to the feet. Bring the balls of the feet back to the top of the blanket. Heels on the floor. We're going to come into Uttasana, forward fold. So this might be your forward fold. Okay. The knees are bent a lot. But if you want, you can bring your hands to the top of the blanket or to the floor, folding over your legs with the knees bent a lot. Crown of the head folds downward. Breathe in and out. One more breath. Lift your head. Look at your chair. Hands to the seat. Hands to the hips. Bend your knees if they're not already and come to standing and step off your blanket. Give your feet a shake. Okay, squatting. I'm throwing this in since we have the blanket. So you might need your chair. I'm gonna scoot my blanket a little further away. Bring your heel to the blanket. Toes to the floor, feet hip width apart. All right, looking straight ahead. Hopefully your balance feels pretty good today. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the tops of your thighs and slide down. You can bring your hands to your chair. See if you can drop your hips. Yep, heels are on the blanket. This makes it a little more accessible because the heels usually lift anyway. And so with the heels touching something, you have much more stability. And hold here, five, four, three, two, one. All right, how are you gonna get up? What you're gonna do is press your toes firmly down, lift your hips first. Hands are still on the seat. Come off your blanket. Feet are hip width apart, bend your knees, hands to the hips, and come to standing. Walk your feet away, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. One more breath, look up, step forward. Bend your knees, hands to the hips, coming to standing, Tadasana Mountain Pose. I'm gonna to turn toward you. Feet hip width apart, soft shoulders, soft eyes. Even out your balance between both sides. Slight bend of the knees. Feel that action in the back of the legs. We've been stretching it a lot. One more breath. All right, grab your block. Place it on your seat. The length of your hand, remove your blanket or your towel. Stand a few feet away from your chair, about three feet. Bring your feet parallel. Bring your hands to your hips. So the chair is on one end of the mat and I'm on the other end of the mat. Yep. Soften your knees and then step your right foot forward. So the toes are pointing towards your chair. Yeah. Notice my hips are still facing you but my foot is facing the chair and it's parallel to the edge of the mat. It's not turned, the toes are not facing the mat they're facing the seat of the chair. See if you can fix that. 
All right. Hands are still on the hips. Bend that right knee. All right. We're going to land this right hand onto the block. All right. Now, if you're leaning over the floor, if you're leaning over, that's what usually happens. I'm going to wiggle this foot a little closer to my chair so that I have a nice somewhat right angle, not quite right angle of my leg, knee, right? And so if you're leaning over the floor, I want you to take this left hip back, left shoulder back, and then press the heel of your right foot. We're gonna press the chair away and we're gonna bring this hip into this hand by lengthening the right leg. Yep, Trikonasana, Utita, triangle pose. Adding the arm, if you'd like, and hold, breathe. All right, really draw the energy downward to stabilize the legs, to lift off that right hand, keeping the legs where they are. Well done. Bend that right knee. Turn towards your chair, step your left foot in. Come to standing. How'd we do? All right, standing a few feet from your chair, hip width apart. Look at your chair. Step your left foot now toward the seat. Bend that left knee. Wiggle those toes a little closer to your chair. Bend that knee so the knee is tracking directly over your foot. Take your left hand to the top of the block. I like to use this height. It feels pretty good. All right, now if you're leaning forward, I want you to take this right hip back, right shoulder back, and see if you can align your torso above your left thigh. All right, now we're gonna draw this right hip into our right hand as we lengthen the left leg, pressing down into the earth evenly, and then extend the right arm at a diagonal in our triangle. Find your breath, enjoy the moment without a lot of thinking here, just a lot of breath. All right, press down into the floor evenly with both feet. Lift off this left hand, come to vertical, and then bend that left knee, turn towards your seat, step the right foot in, walking back again into downward facing dog. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little more parallel to the ground, bending the knees or straightening. Finding length in the back of the leg, perhaps. One more breath. And then look up at your chair, take a walk, bring your dog back. Bring your feet parallel, bend your knees, hands come to the hips, stand tall. And have a seat. Let's take your block. Let's grab it with our legs. We're gonna keep it here for a little bit. So engage those thighs onto the block. The block is long ways between your thighs, about midway. Bring the arms overhead with an inhale. Turn the hands away all the way around to the heart. Keep squeezing that block. Just giving your arms something to do. Inhale, squeezing the block, inhale the arms. Look up, breathe it up, exhale the air all the way around to the heart. Twisting to the right, hands to the center of the chest. As you squeeze the block, the hips seem to even out. A little better with that block there, right? And then back to the front, turning the other way, 
squeeze that block. Oh, that feels so amazing. And then back to the center, right into a cat, extend the arms forward, drop the head down. Arms to the side, open wide, lean forward, squeeze that block. Arms to the side, arms overhead, and hands to the heart. All right, one more moment. Relax your hands to your legs and give that block a good squeeze. Five, four, three, relax your toes. Two, one, and release. Well done. Okay, yogis. Let's bring the right arm across our chest and other arm underneath. Put your hand on that shoulder this time and kind of cradle this top arm. And see if you can find some a little bit of length there in that shoulder and then turn the head towards your right shoulder. Just cradling that arm. Change sides, other arm in front, other arm underneath. Hold on to the shoulder underneath, you got that? It's a little different. Turn your head to the left. And then release your arms. Give your shoulders a nice roll. Let's do one more cat. Just to seal it all up. Exhale. And one cow. Forward and upward. So arcing a nice thoracic extension. And back to neutral. Resting pose. So make your way into Shavasana seated or down on the floor. So scoot back, close your eyes, come to a stillness eventually, completely let go. 